O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? By death and resurrection of Christ, he said, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore and have the keys of hell and death. Think of it, he has the keys of hell and the keys of death. Now what is this defeat of death? Paul likens it to a poisonous insect whose sting has been withdrawn. He says the sting of death is sin. Now I want you to think about death for a person who does not know Christ, for an unbeliever. But the Bible teaches there will be a judgment. You go immediately after you die to face the judgment. And the judgment is not going to be to decide whether you're saved or lost. The judgment is going to be to decide your place in hell because the decision is being made by you here and now in this life. And you cannot read the Bible and miss the references to hell. And I don't see how a clergyman can preach without talking about it because it's so much in the scriptures and the one that taught so much about it is Jesus more than any other person in the Bible. To be in hell is to be out of the presence of God. What is hell? I'm not going to give you my imagination. I'm not going to do what some have done in the past and use their imagination to frighten people. We ought to be frightened. Those that go to hell will not see anybody else. It'll be too dark. There are thousands of people whose spirit is dead toward God. Your body is alive. You go to church. You're religious, as most people are around the world. But deep in your heart, you don't really know Christ. You haven't made your peace with God. Now, God doesn't take any delight in hell. He didn't create hell for you. He made hell for the devil and his angels. The Lord Jesus Christ and his father were separated. And Jesus took the pangs of hell and he suffered in that moment everything that man will ever be called upon to suffer. He did it for you because he loves you. Now God says you must repent of your sins and receive him into your heart. Now what about what happens to the believer? So much could be said about this. I could talk all evening about heaven and about the joys and the thrill and the excitement it's going to be in heaven for all of us who know Christ. In Christ, the judgment is past. The storm is over. The hell is past. If you know Christ, there'll be no judgment for you. There is therefore now no judgment to them that are in Christ Jesus. There is no hell for you. You will live eternally with the Lord Jesus Christ and with the saints of all the ages. By his death, he destroyed death. In Christ, we no longer regard death as the king of terrors.